Hey, what is up? It is John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And today, I'm gonna to be giving you what's been requested for a while here, is my list of top 10 Python books. That's right, top 10 books for learning Python, for becoming a better Python programmer, for getting Pythons. Well, maybe not for getting Pythons. That's, uh, that, that's a different book. Maybe I'll write that book on, on how to be a programmer with Pythons. <laughs> anyway, let, let's get into this here. So just, just to let you know, just as a caveat here, because I like to be upfront and honest, I am not a Python programmer. I have programmed Python before. I like program. I like programming. <laughs> I like programming Python. I like Pythons. But, but where I get my knowledge on Python is from all of you Python developers that email me and say, I love this book. This is an awesome book. And, and the research, I come across a lot of Python developers, a lot of Python books. I come across a lot of books in all different programming languages as I get you know so many emails every day and, and a lot of you that write comments and, and talk about things. So I've sort of taken what, what I think is the best from what I've heard about Python books. Again, if you disagree with this list or something off this list that, or that should be on this list, go ahead and you know, leave a comment below if one of the books sucks. Hey, let me know. I, I'm, I'm just doing my best here to try to compile for you the best list of Python books that I can. These are in no particular order, by the way. I just have the, the top 10 here that, that I've found to be valuable if you're trying to learn Python. All right. So let's talk about the first one here, which is Learn Python the Hard Way. Now, this the, the Hard Way series, Learn Python the Hard Way, is a very popular series of books, and it focuses on learning by writing code first and by doing examples first instead of just reading. So you jump right into it, and, and that's why it's called the hard way, but it's actually the easier way because once you start writing and you copy the examples and you get familiar with the syntax and, and what you're trying to do, then it becomes easier to, under, to back up and learn those concepts. This is one of the methods, one of the ways that I teach as much as possible. In fact, I, I would say though, I do it a little bit differently as I give you kind of the overview and then we dump into the code and then we back up from there but this is a great effective way to learn. A lot of people have recommended this book. Good thing about this book also is it's free online. You can get the HTML version. I would probably just spring and buy the book. I mean, how much is a damn book? <laughs> buy a damn book. So, but it, it's, it's, it's good that the fact that it's come out for free sort of tells you that it's valuable. If people are buying, if it's available free and people are still buying it, it's probably a good thing, right? Okay, so, so check that out. All right, next, we have Think Python Beginner Books. So, okay, Think, think, think Python, that's what the, the name of the book is. Uh, this is a beginner book, okay? Uh, and it defines terms and builds on them in a logical procession, okay? So that's sort of how this, this book works. Again, this is a little bit different than the Learn Python the Hard Way. This one is, is we're, we're starting off and we're building on concepts, and, and this is more the traditional way of learning things. So if you respond better to that, if you wanna have kind of the basics, and then you build on that, and you build on that, and you build on that, Think Python is, is the way to go. It's also a free book, so you can get that one for free if you want. Again, you know, there's a lot of free Python books I've, I've found, but if you, if you find it valuable, just buy the damn book. <laughs> it's, uh, it, it, but it is a good testament, again, to a lot of these free books, they're, they're free and they're able to still sell because they're so good that you wanna buy the book so you have the reference and that you've, you've got it there or you just wanna support the author, so I, I highly recommend that. Then we have Dive into Python 3, another free Python book. There it is, Dive into Python 3. Really, really good book also. So this, this one is written by a famous open source author, Mark Pilgrim. It's an older book, okay? So I just have to warn you, it's not as up to date as some of the other Python books, but, but it is very code focused and, and it really is about diving in. Like you're, you're just jumping right into the code. It's a little bit shorter, right? It, it doesn't go quite as in depth, but it's getting you in there and writing code quickly. And it's written by someone you can trust in the industry again. It is a bit of an older book, so that you have to take that into account. But the fact that it's still selling and still survived, I think the, the last published date might have been 2009, and I think it was originally written in 2004, if, if I'm remembering correctly. The fact that it survived that long speaks testaments to how good the book is. It, it's definitely a good book. It shows up on so many, uh, if you search for people's Python top books, it shows up on a, a ton of those because it is really a good book. 
Next, we have core Python programming. This is number four. And okay, now this one, is a much deeper book, okay? It's it's more reading, it's more comprehensive. It is not like the dive-in. It is not like the Learn Python the Hard Way. This is all about, like, I really wanna know the nuts and bolts, right? This is like, you know, this is like the car manual that tells you how to rebuild your engine, okay? This is, <laughs> that's the kind of depth that you're getting here. And so if you're one of those people that really wants to know the ins and outs of the language, Definitely, I, I would recommend uh, core Python programming. Now, this might be a book that you, you don't start out as a beginner. You certainly can, right? It, it, it just may, may take you longer, but you might eventually grow into this book or if you wanna find out more about Python. It, it depends on your, your style, right? I personally would recommend starting out with a diving in type of book or learn Python the hard way and then go to this and fill out that knowledge. Whereas if you just start here, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed. You might not know what you need to retain here, but but this is a really good book. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna diss the book because it is, it is a great book. It's just that you gotta realize you're going in pretty deep here, okay? <laughs> All right, let's hit the next one here. So the next one is the Quick Python book. So this book, Quick Python book, pretty detailed. It has really good reviews on it, and it's it's another code-focused book. Again, I don't have a huge amount of information on this book, but it is a, a shorter book, quick way to learn Python, and, and again, it's diving into the code first. This is another one of those books. So if you're looking, you might wanna look at a couple of these books and, and see which one kind of jives with you the best, but this this is one that uh, that has been recommended quite a bit here. Next, we have Beginning Python from Novice to Professional. So this one is sort of in the middle, okay? It's between Deep, uh, that, that core Python book that I recommended, and it's not as light as Dive into Python. So this is sort of that in, in the middle ground, right? Dive into Python is more about like, let's just write the code, let's, let's just get going. And, and core Python, like I said, is very, very in-depth. This one big, uh, is more in the middle, right? It's, it's more of, it, it dives in, but not so, so, so deep. And, and you, you get, so if you're, if you're feeling like dive in is too, too shallow, <laughs> like you're not getting enough depth and core is just too much, I'm not ready for that yet, this might be a good place to, to go that, that's sort of in the middle, okay? Next one, this is number seven here. It's called Hello World Computer Programming for Kids and Other Beginners. Now, I include this, this, this book on this list because this is like a purely beginner book. This is a good book to give your kids if you're trying to teach them how to program. The, the co-author of this book was an eight-year-old, okay? The, the engineer who wrote this book, he wrote it with his, his eight-year-old and it goes through some very, very simple examples, very, very, very simple programming concepts. If you've never programmed before in your life and you don't even know what programming is, this is a book for you. If you've written in other programming languages, you're gonna find this book boring as hell, so don't buy it, okay? So you gotta think about what you're trying to accomplish here. And also, if it's, if it's this is a great book for kids if you want your kid to learn programming. This has been a very, very popular book, very good reviews, really is one of those books that's stood the test of time for, for teaching a beginner or a kid programming and Python, so I highly recommend it. Next, we have another beginner-focused book, which is called Python Programming for the Absolute Beginner. So again, newbie-focused book, okay? Uh, but, but what's cool about this book is that you learn by writing games. So again, this might be another one that you might use for a kid. It might be one that if you've never programmed before, this is a good one, and you, you find it interesting to learn to program by programming games. I always find that interesting. I, I love programming games, so you might consider that one. But again, if you're an experienced developer, you probably don't wanna pick up this book because it's probably gonna be a little bit too basic for you, okay? Next, number nine, we have Python Essential Reference. Okay, now, this is just a classic reference book. Uh, every serious Python developer should have a copy of this book because it's, it's a reference book. It's not a book to learn Python. I have to caution you, it's not a book to learn Python. Some people could learn Python from reading a reference manual, but most people, probably not the most effective way. But it's a good reference to have in order to, you know, it's always good for every programming language to have at least one reference book. A lot of people make the mistakes of buying the reference book to learn the programming language. I don't recommend that, but I do recommend that you have it so you can look up stuff, you can expand your knowledge. It's one of those things, I, as I learned programming language, one of the things that I would do is I would eventually get the reference book after I had some knowledge of it, and I would actually read through the reference book and it would be like, oh, oh cool, that's cool, that's like a like all 
these tools in my tool belt, Whereas if you start with that, it's, it's not gonna make a lot of sense. But once you've been programming a little bit, once you've been doing some things, then when you read a reference, or you go through the reference and skim through it, you find all these little tools and all these little nuggets that help you along the way. Next, this is number 10 here, the last one. We have Python Cookbook. Rest, and so, so Python Cookbook, again, I recommend these, these cookbook series if you've, if you've seen my top 10 technical books on, on Ruby or C++ and, and whatnot, I usually recommend a cookbook book simply because of, of two reasons. One, it shows you how to idiomatically write in that programming language because you're seeing a lot of good code, right, that it generally, and also it solves common problems. So it, again, this is one of those books that you probably won't start off with your, you're not gonna learn Python from this book, but once you have a little bit of Python experience and knowledge, then you're gonna want to like figure out how like simple things are done, right? How you read from a file, how do you like do these kind of simple things where you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So that's where this cookbook comes in to play is that it's gonna teach you these things that are, are kind of basic stuff that, that you're gonna have to do a lot of the times and you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Someone's already given a way to do that and when you look at how they do it, it also t teaches you how to write good Python code. So I definitely recommend that book. Now, I've got one bonus book for you because I, I just saw the name of this book and this is, I mean, you, 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 what, what can you do? Like when you, you've got such an awesome name, I, how can I not recommend this book? It's called Violent Python. That's right, Violent Python. <laughs> and what is this book about? Well, it's about being a hacker. It's about hacking and building your own hacking tools in Python. So if you're all into that, if you're like, you know, wanna hack some shit, <laughs> check out Violent Python. And it goes into security and all that, that kind of black hat type of stuff. And that's, that's pretty interesting. Python is, is used in a lot of hacking communities because it's it's a really good scriptable language and it's a pretty easy language for for doing that kind of stuff so if you're into that you know if you're just interested it's not a beginner book by by any means but you know check it out all right if you like this video here's here's what i got for you first of all you might want to look at some of the playlists i have on the technical books that i recommend or the books i recommend in general you can check them check them out here second of all if you're like, man, that John guy with his pythons and that shirt, well, I, I just, I, I just, I gotta have a shirt like that. I gotta trust the process. What does it even mean to trust the process? Well, to trust the process, <laughs> it, it means that you don't focus on the results. If you're trying to learn a programming language, you're trying to learn Python, one of the things that, that makes people stumble when they're learning I'll, I'll tell you this right now, is that they're so focused on the damn results. They're, they're, they're feeling that they're not learning, they're not making progress. What you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta come up with a plan. Okay, I'm gonna read this book, I'm gonna do these exercises, I'm gonna commit to this plan, I'm gonna enroll in this Udacity program or whatever it is, and, and you gotta execute, and you gotta do it. And you wake up every morning and you do it, you do it, you do it. That's what trusting the process is, right? I have to remind myself of this because I can get caught up on results, and you know we all can. So trusting the process is the key. It, it's just basically this idea that if you keep on doing it, you're going to get there, right? You, you will. So if you're interested in that shirt, click me and you can get one of these shirts. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's very comfy. I have this design specifically for Simple Programmer. I'm not gonna go into all the boring details, but it's, it's a really good shirt. It's a high quality shirt. I made sure of it for, for sure. So, and then finally, last thing here. If you like this video, if you're like, wow, Simple Programmer, this sounds like some pretty cool shit. Well, I got a lot more cool shit for you. I got tons of cool shit. Click that subscribe button below and we'll be talking about more than just programming languages and learning programming. I guarantee you, I'm going to talk about how to improve your life, how to make money, how to improve your career. Hey, even, even for you guys out there, how to, how to get with the ladies. That's, <laughs> that's right. How to overcome social anxiety and be able to build confidence. All these kind of things to become a well-rounded person, software developer, you, you need to, to learn all this other stuff. That's what this channel is about. So click that subscribe button if that stuff sounds interesting to you and check out some of the videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.